Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixelmic. In today's video I'll be showing you guys how to install Unity 3D. For those wondering what Unity 3D is, Unity 3D is a 3D game engine that's used to make games. Even the ones you're seeing right now. It has also been used to make these popular titles. For those with Macs, I'll be doing a video on installing Unity on a Mac as it's got a slightly different install process. Before we start, I'd just like to let you guys know that I'll be categorizing my videos into different difficulties to help you guys know how hard the video is. I'll be categorizing my videos into five different difficulties. We've got the fluffy difficulty, we've got the sapling difficulty, up from that we've got the rookie difficulty, then we've got the gifted difficulty, and finally, the hardest difficulty, we've got the pixel boss difficulty. But today's video is the fluffy difficulty. So to get started, what you want to do is open up your web browser and go to unity3d.com. Once you're there, what you want to do is click Get Unity. On this page, we have two different versions of Unity 3D. We've got the Personal Edition, which is the one that we will be using. And then we've got the Professional Edition, which I would recommend that you don't get this one unless you want to pay $75 a month. And I can't see you guys doing that at this point. Before we continue, I'd just like to show you guys the system requirements for Unity 3D. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, under Resources, click System Requirements. On this page, we've got the Operating System Requirements as well as the PC Requirements itself. So for the Operating System, what you want to have is uh, Windows 7 or later. For the PC Requirements, what you want to have is uh, any computer that's made from 2004 and onwards. But just to be safe, I'd say any that's made in the last 10 years, so 2006 onward. So that's the system requirements. So if we go back and under the personal edition, click free download. Before you download the installer, just make sure that uh, in the table below, under platform, it says Windows. If not, click it and select Windows, and then click download installer. Once the installer is downloaded, open it up, your computer may ask for permission to change certain features of your PC. So what you want to do is click yes and then click next. What you're seeing here is the license agreement. This is just telling you guys what you can and cannot do when using Unity 3D. So what you want to do is accept this license agreement by clicking the little checkbox and then click next. What you've got now is the components for Unity 3D. Personally, I'd select all of them, as you might be using them at a later date. With the pre-selected components, your install will be about 2GB of hard drive space. With all the components selected, your install will be about 23GB of hard drive space. So what you want to do now is click next. What you've got now is the download and install locations. This is where you select where the Unity installer downloads temporary files, as well as installs Unity. For the download location, you won't really need to change that. But for the install location, if you have another drive, you could either type that location in, or you can browse for that location by clicking Browse. Once you've got your download and install location sorted out, just click Next, and then your install will start. With just the pre-selected uh, components, your install will take roughly two to five minutes. With all the components selected, your install will take about 10 to 15 minutes. And that is it. You've installed Unity 3D. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. As well as the Mac install, I'll be doing a video explaining my difficulties. I'll also be doing a video showing you guys how to set up your first Unity project. Once again, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos in Unity 3D. My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching.